Hello everybody and welcome back to Humankind. Now in the last episode we kind of like finished um, a bit more production there in Capua uh, with the coffee that gives us a nice bonus to our empire. Um, another thing that I want to do, some of you have been pointing that out, is that Venice of course is a very modern name. So um, it's actually Venezia, uh, which is then the original um, Latin Italian name for this one to keep it a bit more authentic of course because all the other names are authentic as well So Capua that we have that I'm really looking forward to um, the farmer quarters the uh, maker quarters and then to go with the next coffee There's also a lot of money there. It's just a shame that we lost this territory up there, but perhaps Hmm, we are going to take it at some point um, then that next up we have down here our town Pilos or our city um, that is we have a few problems with. So first of all, um, industry is not very high and we don't really have that many industry um, tiles here as well. So um, as we can see, there's a stone field there. There's another a stone field and that's basically it. So we need to find a way how to boost these stone fields. We have three of them and there is actually something we can do and that is still the stone works. So the stone works gives me plus one industry on stone fields and rocky fields. So that's a plus three um, industry that I'm getting with this one here. Um, so let's finish this. Alright, so this gives me a nice bonus on these tiles. And on the other hand, since Pilos doesn't have that many other things except food and science fields, what we can do is we can specialize this town for science. Right, so we have now with the latest research the science quarter or the research quarter that we can use. Um, this one here will give me also another research slot and speeds up the research in general. And as we can see, we got some nice fields out there so all of them give me plus five research so we can really really boost research in pilos there so let's do this let's have our first research quarters right here beside the horses <laughs> beside the horses we are going to have that stability is going to be stable around 50 percent that is totally fine for me at the moment um so these are the two things that we want to have in pilos let's just i think let's just end the turn i want it yep there is something we're going to have then the outpost in this territory there so this should be no problem and then i would really like to go for this one there as well if we can still take it these are mercenaries right yep i still haven't found the mercenary quarter yet we also got another interesting another star let's just check this real quick so also a new event and also the era star for what can we see that where we got it from no i think we haven't researched anything new oh influence we might actually got it from the influence yeah and also should get more military units to get my next era star there is then as well and we got another one very good um the grievance we're going to look at soon first i want to finish this new outpost there costing only 150 180 influence so there we have the outpost now being created and as we can see mountain tiles we have um so we do have quite an industrious outpost there which is going to accomplish um or well um accompany them pilos so this is going to be pilos and pilos is low on industry and this one here is going to boost the industry outpost so this is really cool this system i love that i'm really digging this one um i could also give it venice um in venice we have yeah we don't have really anything else close to Venice, so it might also make sense to just give it Venice, right? Pilos is going to be researched and Venice is going to get more industry. Who knows? Because in Venice we have the harbor, right? So building ships here, so industry points might be more important in this area. Yes, I think actually Venice makes more sense. Now, over here, I think we finally found something new and that is um, a regiment actually. And I think this is the mercenary... The mercenary quarters there so we might just invade that with my army that is rather close by um these regiments here we're going to put to sleep again in the city so they can keep the stability up and it said to me a new grievance but i don't see that there's no new grievance no new event anywhere right so that's fine let's also just check um our six we have zero civil points at the moment. The next one is coming up in nine turns. So nothing that I can do there at the moment. We could also really check our um, diplomacy there real quick. And by the way, we still haven't found most of the empires on this map, right? We have the Celts right around the corner, the Assyrians. Um, and that's basically it. Now with the Assyrians, can we see how powerful they are? They have the strength that they're militarist, right? They're cruel, they're risk-taking. And they only have one star as far as I can see. Is that right? 
the Celts or the Goths have no stars at all, and the Celts have also no star, but they have 940 fame. I've got 1,200 fame. Um, the Assyrians are 960, so we should be more powerful than them. But I don't know. Perhaps we don't have anything against them. I can't see how powerful they are at the moment. Perhaps there is something coming up with that. Perhaps there's a tech, so I can find out. No idea at this point. Let's end the turn. In Venezia, we got new um, people coming in. Beautiful. And now, I can move to this camp there. Let's just do this and ransack it. Oh, 34 coin. That's not much. But we need to make peace here. The Celts want something new and they want a cultural agreement. So if maintained, the empire's cultural proximity rises gradually until it stabilizes at a much higher value. Most Let's accept glorious. it with my ally. Yes. Most glorious, okay. I don't see that, but still. Brings us a bit closer together, culturally. And I think that's it for the most part in Knossos, my powerhouse. Hmm. Yes, Statue of Zeus makes a lot of sense here because we can finish it in a very short amount of time. We could also have the research quarters. Do we have some research anywhere? Oh yeah, up here we can have it. There is some free open space. By the way, just want to check something. Can we build it anywhere? Yeah, in the proximity of this outpost there we can also build it. But not anywhere, right? We need to put up our influence before we can increase that. We will also have the market quarters. There is unfortunately only one tile where it's really worth it. We also have here our mine already, but that is producing. So I think the Statue of Zeus makes sense. And let's have it somewhere. Let's have it on this one there. I mean, it's for food, but it's far away from Knossos, so it's never going to be used, really. Um, and it's a very prominent location just beside Rome. So let's build the Statue of Zeus there. Right, a new monument is coming up. And this gives me a lot of stability and plus 10 stability on city or outpost and plus 10% money per alliance on empire. That is pretty cool. So we have one alliance and I get um, another yeah, 8 coin per turn with that out of it and plus 20 faith. And the other cities will join once they finish their projects. Like for example, Tyrins has finished its project. So we might actually join from 19 turns. It goes down to 16 turns, speeding the whole thing up there. And Iolcus, we could also join this one. It has 50 industry. Let's do this, going down to 11 turns. I love that system. Even, of course, for these cities, we might have other projects in mind as well. Rome has gained another population. And the ransack was also successful. And we also have now finally researched the hydrology. So this gives me access, first of all, to the aqueducts that we will be having soon now. Gives me a plus 20 stability for the cities. Very important and very Roman too. Um, the water mill industry on river. This will boost quite a few of my cities that have uh, the river slots. And by the way, I think all of my cities have river slots. Um, I particularly looked out for that in the beginning. So this will be a good thing. And now we can also have another outpost, which will then be a city. And we might just have it over here. Wait a second. Perhaps like this. So we have a proximity to the mountains. Um, there we would have even more mountains. But I would like to be at the ocean. I still don't fully um, grasp at how powerful oceans are in general in this game. We'll find out about it. Um... There we have the mountains, we have a bit of food around it. Let's build it here. Oh, there we would also have some signs. Up here we have it, but nope. There is, with the horses, a bit of signs. Oh, this is a hard decision. I want the mountains in it because it gives me so much productivity. Let's go with the mountains there. As our new city. It's probably getting stolen by us anyway. Right, but this will be in our empire then as well. And yep, this camp here is going to be now attached to Venetia or Ven Venezia. I think this is what I want, right? So Pilos, it makes a... Uh, they are both pretty low on uh, industry and Venezia just has the harbor area. So I like this idea. So let's attach it to Venezia and we'll be more than doubled our productivity in this case. Right, so Venezia is going to be quite powerful with there. As we can see, a beautiful town, really beautiful, with a harbor area there next to it. Um, can we now build some ships? I would love to go with my first ships. I'm probably down here with the units. I can still not build any ships. 
that real? Do I still need to build something else? Let's just see. What do we have here? Clear ruins. Oh, we have some ruins there. It gives me the 34 coin. Let's do that. No, I don't have valid ruins here at the moment. Um, and Venezia has quite a lot of stuff in its queue anyway. But I would really like to go with something. We have the harbor though. Why can't we build a harbor again? Oh, I can build another harbor. We can have several of them. This would give me even more research points then. Interesting. Alrighty. But still, no ships. Perhaps we need to research that. We have finished researching. There we have the sailing. Oh, right. We don't have this the, the ships research yet. So sailing will be my next target right away. Plus, it's very, very cheap. Anyway. Um, with my other cities... Let's just, or regiments, let's just put them on sleep there. And now let's have a look at the gree, a grievance there. So the flooded lands, that was this event last episode. Fortune favors you, the skies above Pilos grew darker and darker. The deluge, um, like a sea being tipped upon a city. But then suddenly the clouds parted and the rain relented. Days of sunshine followed and the threat of floods are no more. I think I paid 200 for that, so uh, a better, a good outcome there, right? So we were lucky. This is not really a grievance then. Knossos, another population. We should really um, build some more units there before we have too many people living there. Another star. I think this is for the researching then. So where we have now the ships. So can we please now uh, get our first ships up there? There it is. The Pentaconter. Manned by 50 oarsmen. The Pentaconter is a versatile ship used for both sea trade and warfare. Um, it's a coastal ship though. Right, so we can explore the coast with that, nothing else. It also reduces our population by one again, but that is to be expected. Now, sailing we have, we could also go now with a transport galley, I think. No, oh, this is still a coastal ship, but it's the next step, obviously. And we do have some horses now in the Empire, so horsemanship for the scouting, perhaps, or the ra rhetoric. Um, gives me the holy day library more research and the theater influence on that mounted warfare i don't like the idea that much at the moment since we are you know romans after all and we really focus on our legion mm, difficult one the library of the research i like the most at the moment and games so this gives me with high stakes under the hot sun athletes and warriors compete with one another um this just gives me plus five stability flat out i don't even need to do anything else here let's go with that conquest and also we can choose a new um trait for our religion so we are still in the shamanism we have reached the 40 faith again um let's just see what we can go for here sq gluttony Plus 10 money on territories under religious influence. Um, plus 1 food per state religion. 10 signs on territories under religion's influence. Ah, stability. Yeah, let's go with stability. Stability throughout the empire is still pretty low. Um, So I would really like to go with this one. It also gives me a plus one maximum number of holy sites that I can choose then as well. There we have that. For this tier, and as we can see, also for the religion, there are several tiers that we can... Um, achieve here um, so our religion also gets more complex and I'm pretty sure we can then choose a new direction for the religion entirely as well because of course we don't always want to be with shamanism now my cities are fine and I think we can pretty much end the turn down here we are also getting closer now and let's end the turn now I can finally build this outpost here I'm pretty sh unsure still about this one um, plus four. This is looking much better. Here we would get plus 11 food, right? And plus 10 industry. Looks much better to me. So let's go with this point here. And there we have the city. Once again, we will have the harbor access then anyway. Um, and this is being built. Also gives me one, once again the horses. Right, and let's just see. Saffron, we got now three. It is not, by the way, um, affecting or it's not stacking up. We still have the base plus five uh, stability with that. A proposal Blood. Oh. Consideration. And also the Goths send us an alliance proposal. Let's accept this one. And let's Most also have a look glorious. at trade there real quick. Yes. Um, this they have horses and copper and dye. I don't have dye. We might purchase dye and... Oh, we can just purchase it. Can I not choose to trade it with my goods? So we have our resources here, but it seems like I cannot trade. 
I cannot trade with the Goths. Let's have a look at the Celts there. Your resources, their resources. It seems like I cannot trade with them at the moment, or do I need to have something else? We have the free trade. Um, and I think... No, there's nothing else I can do here. I could just purchase something like the iron or the dice. Right, I do have a lot of money there and transport because we have a good transport route to them. We do get a discount here and for 38 coin we can purchase the die. So we do have that now in the empire. There it is and it gives me another plus 5 industry in all cities and plus 5 stability. So that's for the trading. So the die we got from the Celts. I think the Goths don't have any other thing as well. The copper we have that. And once again die. But that's it. They don't want to trade with us though for some reason. Or so I cannot do that. Very strange. But still perhaps we need to research that first. Or perhaps we need to have some trading quarters or whatever. Let's just check the, the tech tree on that. Oh and we're being attacked right now. Oh not very good. By who? By mercenaries. They're attacking us, um, one of our weaker units, and I don't think we can win this one. We can try to retreat to another point. Retreating. But I think we can only do this once, but I really need to go away from there. Um, we could then go into the Celts and then to my city. Um, but, oh, there's also another point of interest that just appeared. Where is my main army? I think we got them far away, actually. Yes, right, they are um, getting some outposts up there. So my main army will have to kind of go up there at some point. I don't really have any strength up here. So barbarians are coming up again a bit. Did not expect this one. Um, the outpost gained a population there. We also got yet another era star. So we might actually go for the next era soon. And they're following me still. Can you believe that? Can we move? No, we cannot. We will be attacked again by it. Oh, wait a second. In Venezia, I do have my first ship up and running. So the there we have it in all its glory. And it has three movement tiles. We might just now move it somewhere else. So up here, it's pretty clear to me that there are the Celts. Let's move it down here and scout a bit at, so what we can find there. Unfortunately, the way over the ocean is not open yet. Now, this regiment can stay. This one here, there's the Assyrians. This one here goes now at least to Rome, somewhere. And my outpost still takes one turn. Alright, but yeah, they will attack now if I end my turn. I can't move away though anymore. Oh no, they're not attacking, very good. Oh, they are? Something very strange is happening there anyway, I don't know. They moved again. Um, the Celts have another proposal, scientific agreement. So scientific research performed by one empire provides progress towards the same technology for the other one. I'm pretty sure that our research is more powerful than that of the Celts. But still I'm going with that. So the Celts are our best pals here and I just go with that. Um, also, what? One of my... Naval forces is in danger. That is not my ship, though. Doesn't affect me at all. Let's continue. Oh, it's it's not by the coast. Of course, those ships should be by the coast at all times. Otherwise, they might get lost at sea. This is a pretty cool feature. So, I have still the ability to actually move across the ocean there if I need to. But it's risky. It'll, risk, it'll be risky then. Um, in Kapur, we have now... Oh, we have finished quite a lot of research projects. Um, or building projects. We have 29 industries, so that's quite a lot. Mm, yep, we, since we have a high proximity there to mountains, we might actually push it even further. Um, I could do that. I could go for more of that. I could also probably go with some researching here, plus 9, thanks to the... Um, sites that we have around it and this is something that I want to go pushing the research there food by if food is fine What we might actually go is we might then also exploit the next coffee tile getting us another plus four coin as well 
um, in Capua. We should have this up and running as quickly as possible. In Venezia, we are still making the Maker's Quarters and then the Horse Ranch. So that's the next horses that we get in. Um, and down here, this one is finally finished, the outpost. So we have now the option. We can attach it. No, we cannot attach it. Um, we can. Oh, look at that. We can attach it to Venezia, though. So, of course, they need to be bordered, these attachments, uh, these outposts. They need to be bordered on the city that uh, I want to attach it with. That's logical. What is um, even cooler is that even if I have one outpost already, we can attach another one even further away. So, you can make a huge territory for one city alone um, if you want to. I'm not doing it for this part, even though it would make sense, right, to have one big city here. Um, I'm not doing it for this part, so this one here should be its own city. And that's what we're doing. And I can create it right away. Um, nope, let's wait on that. We'll get more population in Rome. Can we still afford that? We have 10 people living here now. Each one of them requires 6, so 60 food we consume right now, and we have 64 in production. <laughs> That's incredible. I think Rome is my most populous city, is it? Yes, it is, by far. So we have 10 people living here, 10 population. Um, let's just say that each one of them is 1,000, so we have 10,000 people living there right now. Pretty cool. Um, and Zeus is getting up and running soon. Let's just put the regiments to sleep. Oh, 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 not the ship, though. The ship can continue to the other side. And also, we have a grievance there. Animal magic. As the harvest season draws close, the common folks are worried. With many farms scattered across the empire last year, an infestation of rodents, largely rats and mice, plundered granaries. However, rumors have it that one enterprising village mitigated the problem by using cats. But you also know that sailors use a new kind of predator named a ferret. Which of them will you employ? Cats. Cats are awesome, so we make cats the public animal mascot of the Roman Empire and look at that the mercenaries here got damaged quite a bit I'm still not able to attack them really because I only got the scouts here let's move that to my outpost into safety because there we also get them a nice defense bonus so they can stay there where are they going oh auto explore is on right I don't know why so you just go there oh or you go up here then I would have to go around it. No idea about that yet. Alright, I think it's time to end the turn. One more turn for the Statue of Zeus. Eolcus also gained a the population there. Civic point we gained as well, so we can have a look at that. But it seems like I cannot go with any higher tier at the moment. Um, I need to... Oh, this needs to be triggered by a special event before I can go with the higher ones. I do have those guys here, but... I cannot invest any civic points at the moment because I haven't unlocked any new tax there. Interesting. Really interesting. And with that, we finish this one. And next episode, we finish the Statue of Zeus. Stay tuned.